So those things set up the core foundation. And I think one way to think about them is just as a list. Another is to think about them in terms of a, of a schedule basis. And that's how I've really doubled down is I realize that every 24 hours, I need to invest something into each one of those things. Mm -hmm. So I think that, you know, 10 years ago or five years ago, or even two years ago, I used to think, okay, like what's the workout split or how am I going to eat for the next couple of months? You know, what am I trying to optimize for? Is it muscle? Is it fat loss? Is it just maintaining? Is it energy? Is it focus? That's all fine and good, but sleep, nutrients, exercise, light relationships, those really establish the foundation of what I consider to be all of the elements that create our ability to move as seamlessly as possible between the states that we happen to be in and the states we desire to be in. Mm -hmm. And when I zoom out and I think about what are the major struggles that I, and it seems most everyone deals with, it's like how to get more focused. Okay. So we can talk about, you know, what do you take? What's the supplement, you know, but you have to say, well, how are you sleeping? Have you done any exercise? You really always find yourself or I find myself taking 10 steps back and then moving through the sequence of five things before you can even begin to talk about whether or not taking three or 600 milligrams of alpha GPC and how often to do that and does it work and yes, it works, et cetera. But those things really set the foundation. And so I like to think of those five things every single day. You have to re-up on sleep every 24 hours or try to. You have to re-up on movement every 24 hours. You can go a day or so immobile, but you better move the next day, right? Mm -hmm. And ideally you're moving seven days a week doesn't necessarily mean trained to failure and running marathon seven days a week. You can Goggins your life or you can not Goggins your life. For those of you who don't know, I'm referring to David Goggins there, by the way, who seems to never stop moving. Although I just learned meditates two hours every night, every night. And I'm inclined to believe when he says that he indeed does that. You need nutrients, even if they come from stored sources, even if you're going to fast, you're going to fast for a day or two. Okay, fine. I've done that. I know you've done that. He's, I would put hydration under nutrients too. Mm -hmm. So you can derive nutrients from stored fat, protein, et cetera, glycogen. Light, you're going to need that every 24 hours. You're going to need sunlight, even if through cloud cover. And you're going to want to avoid bright artificial lights at night. Not every night, but most nights of your life. And then that relationships one is the one that maybe we can go into in a little bit more depth at some point, but it requires focus. It requires attention every 24 hours. Now that doesn't necessarily mean you have to see friends, talk to friends, text friends, Every 24 hours, some people are far more introverted than others, but then you're working on your relationship to yourself in that solo time. And hopefully when you're spending time with others as well, that has some internal repercussions. So if I've doubled down on anything, it's the understanding that there is no so-called optimization. There is no real interest, at least from me, in trying to layer in other things, unless I'm paying attention to each and every one of those things every 24 hours. You have to re-up on each and every one of those five things every 24 hours. And if you don't, you can get by for a day or two, but pretty soon you're gonna hit that wall where you won't be able to do any of the things that most people are actually seeking to do. Mm -hmm. And the last thing I'll say about that is, you know, I think people hear a list of those five things and they think, gosh, okay, well, that must be nice for you, Andrew and Tim. You know, you wake up, you look at sunlight, you guys don't have kids, you know, like you don't have to worry about kids running around, you don't have to, you know, you can exercise. There are ways of layering in the, the protocols that re-up, as I'm referring to it, these five things every 24 hours that also include other people in your life, kids, pets, etc. Exercise certainly can include that as well. But I would argue that there is no showing up properly for yourself and for the other people in your life unless these things are being handled. And it's not about becoming soft and cushy. It's about becoming quite resilient and effective. And I think this for me is the, it seems so simple, but as our friend Paul Conti said to me recently, he said, you know, after all the analysis and pouring through things and the complicated notions of the subconscious, he's a psychiatrist after all, you know, in the end, really great mental health is about simple practices, like first principles of self-care. So to which I raised my hand and said, well, like, what is a first principle of self-care? I'm a biologist after all. And he said, aha, it's basically the things that we were just talking about. It's those five things. And so I, I'm doubling down, I'm tripling down on those as essential to the point where nothing else really happens for very long unless those five things are tended to. <laughs>